Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kylie. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Vinland Saga episode 19. Canute has entered the chat. Yeah, Canute entered the chat. He did. We had a bit of misunderstanding last episode. Oh, uh, I don't think so. I feel like uh, maybe the way we interpreted it was, was okay. Um, it seems as though maybe he's put his beliefs aside. Which is what we didn't get at the time. No, I kind of saw it as... Canute just not accepting the fact that men can't be good and he wants to change that. Uh, and he wants to just instill kindness into as many people as possible. And we saw that with Bjorn. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's not like Canute saying, okay, that's it. I don't believe in anything anymore. I'm going to go around and massacre people like the rest of everyone else. After some clarity, mm. I sort of thought that he put his beliefs aside and he's going to go instill kindness and stuff himself because he wasn't getting mercy from his religion. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, nevertheless, it's exciting to see a little bit of a change in Canute. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he can spread some of his goodness and kindness around to the others. But I'm very interested to see how he's now going to interact with other characters like Thorfinn, Askeladd, because some shit went down. Canute, he's got a bit of a deeper voice and he's... <laughs> He's a little bit more in control now. And yeah, I'm happy for that and everything. I'm just a bit sad that he's abandoning his beliefs. Yeah, he might come around in the end. We'll see. But also, if you guys are interested in getting early access to these episodes, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. What? Has he lost his memory or some shit? It's like he hit his head pretty hard. Okay. Back into it. Thought maybe he had a concussion or something. Mm. I think he does. That's right, it's talking some sense into him. Yes, yes, yes. Look at him. He's dance and everything. He's majestic. Mm. Oh. Oh shit. Dang. Oh shit. What? <laughs> They're related. Oh. I never thought I'd see him crying. Oh, he wanted to beat him. <laughs> oh shit, okay. <laughs> it's still kind of nice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's so thrilled. It's kind of cute, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it is, weirdly. He did that for him. Mm. Mm, he can't accept it. Mm. All he knows is fighting. It flashed to, was it Ilva? When he said that. Is that Ilva? Yeah. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. 
shit, man. Is that why Thorkel sometimes asks, what is a warrior? He asked that to Thorfinn. Yeah. Probably wondering what Thor's meant. <laughs> just, <sitting. laughs> just having a chat. Oh my gosh. He's got a mouth on him, that one. Aww. He knows it's true, that's why he's reacting like that. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> this is so good. I find him so funny. I like to see Askeladd working together with Thorfinn like this, even though they're both doing it for selfish reasons, like mm. you know it, but... Yeah. I don't know, what sort of plan can help him win this with like a broken arm? Yeah, did Askeladd tell him already? Like, supposedly he was going to tell him how to beat Thorkel, right? I think he's going to distract him and Askeladd's going to do something. He was lurking, he was doing some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, he was lurking and like, crab walking around. Oh shit. Thought he was going to snowball him just now. No, come on Carly. Yeah, I was thinking, what the hell? What? Oh, Why? Shit. Because of the cold? He's going to let his guard down and... Yeah. Oh. Well, he's got sensitive eyes. His jaw. No way. Was it like a head injury or something? Like really bright lights or something. That just distracted him though. It's where Thorfinn kicked him. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh no. They're yeah. gonna do it unless what did they think was gonna happen? says something. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he might. Yeah, he's gonna kill him all. Oh dang. He doesn't give a shit about his eye. Just that the jewel was tarnished. Yeah. He's all about honor honor and shit, you know? Oh no. Yeah. Oh, he's still alive. He was standing before. Yeah, he was just knocked out for a second. <laughs><笑>もはや決闘の様相ではあるまい。そなたも一刀の修行なら誇りと潔さを示して見せるがいい。He's killing him. Can't deal with this shit. It's gone Super Saiyan. He has. <laughs> shit. He's just letting out some steam, Carly. That's it. Literally. Wow. Yeah, he stayed true to his word, like Askeladd said. Mm. He knows exactly how it's gonna unfold. Yeah. His dad doesn't give a shit about him. Mm -hmm. It's Harold, yeah. 
It's just more convenient that way. It makes him look better that way. Shit. Oh. There's no way everyone's gonna work together or some shit. With Thor's? Quite possibly, yeah. Yeah, it is. That's Thor's. Wow. <laughs> he might learn it with Canute. Yeah, they're all trying to work it out. Mm. This is crazy. This is a crazy <laughs> twist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just as confused as Thorfinn. <laughs> oh shit. He had the last laugh, mate. As usual. <laughs> Wait a second. He knows he won't kill him. And it's above that. Oh shit. I did not expect that to happen just now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh! What the heck? Thorfinn's like, oh, what now? He's a, he doesn't care about any of this. I've got too much to say after that. I think since the midway point of this season, every episode has been incredible. Yeah, just like smart. Yeah, the way they tie it in with, with their flashbacks and other things that have happened in the series and... Yes. And all of that. I think Ascalad was trying to bring out what he saw in himself in Canute. Okay. He's more similar to Canute than he was to Thorfinn. Mm. Because now they're, they're so similar. Canute could put aside that Ascalad killed who he loved most on Earth. That's a good because parallel. Because of his goal now. Yeah. Just like Ascalad can put anything else aside. For his main goal, too. Okay, interesting. So the thing is, if you're drawing that parallel, you, so you had Ascalad who despises the Danes but worked with them anyway, just like Canute just probably despises Ascalad, but is going to work with him now anyway. But what happened to Ascalad's soldiers? Ascalad ended up killing him anyway. Yeah. All to get what he wanted. He knew that this would unfold in this way. Mm. And I think Ascalad in that moment wanted to test Canute. If he did kill Ascalad, Ascalad would have known that it's not he won't be able to get what he needs from Canute anyway, so he would be dead. But he probably thought, if he doesn't kill me, I know that I can work him the way I want to get what I want in the end. Yeah, I think he was also just laughing at the, like... Probably the amount of luck that he's fallen into here, but then also the absurdity of, of it all. And now they've got Thorkel on their side, but Askeladd is such a good judge of character that he probably knew what was about to unfold anyway. I think that's why he was laughing. Maybe I'm giving Askeladd too much credit here. You can correct me if I am, but I, I feel like he just knew everything yeah. that was going to unfold. Hmm. I think it's kind of good for all the characters involved now that they're all together because 
Like even for Thorfinn, I know Thorfinn's like walking off thinking, what now? Like, what the hell just happened? He's gone through all of this shit. All he wants to do is kill Askeladd. That's all he wants to do. Mm. Um, but now at least this way he could probably learn more about his father as well which is kind of good and maybe it will steer him in the right direction at some point because it's still not getting through to him. But yeah, I honestly don't think when it comes to Thorfinn that anything's going to get through to him until Askeladd is dead. Yeah. Now, whether or not that is him killing Askeladd in a duel or someone else killing him, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I feel like that that's going to be the, the tipping point. I feel like... Every character has their tipping point. We saw it with Canute. It was when Ragnar died. We saw it with Thor's. It was when he killed that other soldier. Uh, I can't remember exactly what happened in that scene. Did that soldier that he kill that he killed have a wife and a daughter that he said it's like oh, I have a wife and daughter or something like that, and mm. obviously sat with Thor's. Yeah, maybe. I can't remember exactly, but. Yeah, there's always a, a tipping point and a moment. And I feel like that could be the only one for for Thorfinn anyway. And I guess it's building. It's, it seems to be building to that. But yeah, Canute, man. <laughs> he didn't even flinch when Thorkell went to kill him or knock him out there. No. Nah. It was smartly written because it was like orchestrated by Askeladd, we'll say. Mm. But everything unfolded in a way where it pleased everyone. Yeah. Yeah, but then that scene there, the way they tied it in with Thor's and Thorkel, it's like Canute didn't have fear in his eyes there at all. He was he had confidence, sort of thing. Um, yeah. He was like almost at peace, just kind of like Thor's was when Thorkel wanted to attack Thor's, mm. and so Thorkel obviously drew a, a parallel between Canute and Thor's. And he's thinking, why aren't these softies? Well, he didn't consider Thor's soft at the time, but he thought Thor's was getting soft. He's like, why are they? Why are they like this? Why are they so fearless and true warrior? Yeah, he's still trying to find out the meaning of that. Yeah, because all Thorkel knows is to fight. Yep, he lost that one. Mm. Oh yeah, let, let's talk about that. So. What exactly happened there? Did we miss something extremely obvious? What's his weakness? Thorkel. Yeah. So you were saying it was his jaw or something. It looked to me like uh, Askeladd shined the um the sword. Yeah, but he said that it was just to um cause a brief distraction, so that Thor Finn could kick him in that, in spot. that spot. Okay. I th- I think. I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that but, that would actually make more sense. But Asgard was literally saying it. He was like, all we need is a brief distraction. Okay. And that was the whole snowball thing with yeah. the, the shining of the sword. Yeah, it might have been like um, sensitive head friction or something. Maybe because like no one can ever reach <laughs> him that high. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I'm sure we'll have that clarified exactly what yeah. it was. But yeah, so when Thorkel... Um, was fighting around Askeladd back in the day. Askeladd obviously took this with him, took this knowledge with him. Yeah. Um, because he saw it firsthand. Okay, I I didn't think Thorkel had a weakness, but I guess everyone does. Yeah, that was a really really good episode. Again, I like it how even though Thor's died in like episode four, he's still a very integral character throughout the series. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I want a backstory. For who? Thor's. He needs his own TV show. This is his TV show, Carly. No. It needs to be more about him. I need more alive screen time. No flashback business. <laughs> yeah. No, he's a pretty good character. Very strong mm. leader. Honorable man. Uh, but we still get to see plenty of that now anyway. Uh, Thorkel is related to Thorfinn. Great uncle. Yeah. So his, his brother was Helga's dad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> crazy. Uh, so how is he related to Thor's? His brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. No. Wait. It's nephew no. In, in law? Just nephew. Nephew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Not nephew-in-law. Yeah, nephew. Okay. Nephew. 
Oh, that's crazy. That that was good. Um, so now we've got like Thorkel, Askeladd, Thorfinn, Canute. You got a pretty strong army here. Uh, and they're gonna go bust up Harold and King Swain, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh man, that's gonna be a whole other thing. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.